we have another trade this time in division first baseman carlos santana is getting traded from the pittsburgh pirates to the milwaukee brewers for 18 year old shortstop johnny severino as always, before we get started, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. This is the place you want to be for all trade deadline content. Videos coming out with reactions, grades, analysis, every single trade that happens. So, Carlos Santana. This season with the Pittsburghs, he's hitting 235 with 12 home runs, 53 RBIs, and a 732 OPS. In his career, he's a 242 hitter with 290 home runs, 978 RBIs, and a 788 OPS. Santana, who's having his, probably his best year since 2019 when he was an all-star and hit 281 with 34 home runs, but he's not going to play that good. He's 37 years old now. But his production is still there. With a 235 average, he's still drawing a lot of walks, 45 walks. Santana gets on base a fair amount, 321 on base percentage, and switch hitting, and that still does have some pop. He has 25 doubles this year, which is an actually quite a fair bit amount that's only five off of his all-star season in 2019 in about 70 ga less games so the brewers are acquiring a good switch hitting bat that's a very veteran presence that's been in the postseason before and is going to fill in in the middle of that lineup and really knows kind of basically his way about the league especially the nl central in exchange the pirates are getting 18 year old Johnny Severino. But as a 17 year old, he hit 268 with three home runs, 11 doubles, one triple, 10 stolen bases, struck out 55 times, and walked 14 to give him a 333 on base percentage and a 724 OPS. And this season, as an 18 year old, in only 12 games, he's hit four home runs in rookie ball, which is quite good. He's hitting 250 in those um, 18 games, or 12 games, excuse me. So it seems like the Pirates are taking a shot on an 18-year-old to develop and become a great player for just half a season of Carlos Santana. I really, really like this trade for Pittsburgh. Now for the Brewers, it's kind of one of those low-risk, high-reward type trades. The Brewers, you're not going to get bitten by this in the next five years. It's probably going to be you know quite a few years before San Severino even makes the big league. And with an 18-year-old, you never quite know what he's going to do, especially when he's not ranked in the top 30 of the prospects. The Pirates are just taking a flyer on this 18-year-old, and we'll see what happens with it. Overall, I think the winner of this trade is going to be the Brewers. In a seller's market, I thought you could probably get a little more uh, than Santana if you're Pittsburgh, um, but but I suppose he is 37 years old, and his production is not where it once used to be. There's also better bats you could have gotten if you're the Brewers, so I give the Brewers a B-, minus, and I give the Pirates probably a C-. minus. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this trade in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. More trade videos coming out as they happen, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.